Welcome to this Fair Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today, God sent me to tell you to develop or have a mindset of a victor. You know, in Christ Jesus, God has given us victory. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4, it says, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. You see, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. We are overcomers in Christ Jesus. And it is important for you to have a mindset, a mentality of an overcomer, a mentality of a victor, because that's who you are in Christ Jesus. By reason of your faith in Jesus Christ, you have been made an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who loved you. So it is important for you to wear on your mind the mindset of a victor because your mindset is very important in receiving the fullness of that which Christ has done for you. Your mindset is very important in manifesting the victory that Jesus Christ has given you. It takes the mindset of a victor to be victorious in life. Praise God. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7, it says, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. It is important that you know that you will always become the character of your mind. And that's why it's important to develop the mindset of a victor. Never allow any thought of defeat seep into your inner consciousness. Never allow any thought of mediocrity get into your heart. The Bible tells us in, in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23, it says to guard or keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The forces that shape life emanate from the heart. You know, you can never rise above how you see yourself. You can never go beyond how you see yourself. You know, your thoughts actually define you. Your thoughts actually um, release your potentials or limit them. And that's why it's important for you to develop a mindset of a victor. You see, in Christ, our transformation is primarily by the renewing of our mind. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, the Bible tells us, it says, to not be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of the mind. That means our transformation, changing from one form to another, is primarily by the renewing of our mind. So you have to renew your mind to the Word of God because you are a victor in Christ and you have to see yourself as such. As you begin to see yourself in the light of God's Word, your heart begins to go through a process of transformation. You go from one level of glory to another level of glory. The Bible says we all with unveiled face beholding as in a glass or mirror the glory of God, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of God. So your mind is very important in your transformation. Your mind is very important in the fulfillment of your destiny. You cannot afford to allow thoughts of mediocrity, thoughts, your negative thoughts, thoughts that are not consistent with what God has spoken concerning you, thoughts that are not consistent with what God has made you in Christ, must not be allowed to seep into your inner consciousness. You must keep or guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the forces that shape life. Glory to God. Have a mindset of a victor. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. Praise God. I believe you've been blessed today. Hallelujah. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in this fair grace. I love you and God bless you.